Let's get across what's moving in bond markets now. We're live with Simon Michel from Fix Securities. And Simon, Aussie yields looking pretty steady at the moment. Yeah, Aussie's pretty steady, not a lot of movement, maybe a basis point or so, but uh, pretty much uh, where they finished the week last week at this stage, Dan. Now let's talk through what's happening in the US as well. Um, obviously very interesting comments. I guess from a first impressions basis, your reaction to Chair Yellen's speech? Yeah, look, it's interesting. I think, uh, you know, she's still very much staying on message that, uh, that you know, that the market should expect uh, the US Fed to move this year uh, and begin moving their Fed funds rate back up. Uh, she's had to do that because the expectation has drifted into possibly as uh, late as next year, uh, 2016, that we might see that move. So, look, I think she's saying a message. She said, uh, you know, she still wants to see a little bit of uh, a further strengthening in the economy, definitely in that labour market. But she says that they're still on, uh, on course for a 2016, uh, 2015, I should say, increase in the Fed funds rate. Uh, at this stage, 62% of investors in a recent survey uh, believe that the Fed will move this year. Uh, that's up from about 56% about a week ago. So we are getting to a point where, uh, you know, we're, the market's sort of suggesting that it might not be until next year and the Fed is staying very much on message that, uh, that the market should expect it this year. And Chair Yellen says she does expect the US economy will continue to improve. Where do you think the Fed is looking for signs of improvement? Is it just in the labour market? Market? I think that's predominantly there. I, th I think obviously they want to uh, monitor this US dollar as well. They certainly don't want to see that get up too high. That's certainly al already had a bit of an impact on economic growth. We've seen some slowdown in that. I think inflation is another um, area they'll be focused on as well. Uh, that's uh, inflation expectations have fallen back a little bit uh, in recent times. So most of the data and uh, the news we've been getting out of the US has been a little bit on the softer side. Uh, I think that um, the, uh, Yellen's comments uh, on Friday certainly suggest that she wants to keep the momentum going and she's happy to look through that uh, softer data in the short term and look at the longer uh, strength of the economy uh, with a you know, focus on that uh, employment level. Could she have said anything more, do you think? Well, I think it's going to be very difficult. We are getting uh, a lot more volatile in the long end of the US curve at the moment. We've seen that with uh, yields moving up quite substantially uh, about two weeks ago. They've fallen back down a little bit. We're certainly seeing demand for US Treasuries as those yields have increased a little bit. It's going to be, be a lot more volatile as we drift closer to that expected move by the US Fed. So I think uh, it's not surprising that you see uh, Yellen staying on message and trying not to uh, upset that uh, expectation that investors have out in the market. Let's touch on some of the other factors that are influencing your thinking um, at the moment. Of course, Greece very much still in the spotlight. It's got a large payment to the IMF coming up very shortly. Yes, it does, Dan. It's got about 1.6 billion euros next month, and it's suggested that it, uh, it won't be able to honour those payments. Now, you know, we've seen this uh, occur time and time again in recent times, but, you know, I think the Greek uh, government is certainly pushing to some revision to the austerity measures that they've had to implement, a little bit of pushback there. Uh, you know, I think it's, it's certainly the focus of the markets every, uh, you know, with the stimulus we're seeing in Europe, uh, you know, the, the market's looking for any uh, level of uncertainty and, and Greeks, Greece is certainly providing that. But uh, they're no, certainly not building in a huge expectation that that's likely to cause any major instability to markets in the short term. All right, Simon, we'll leave it there. Always appreciate it. Thanks again. Thank you, Dan.